What's up everybody, David here. Uh, bringing you guys a daily video. But, once again, we're taking a Twitter suggestion. But I don't remember who suggested it. I'll bring you that in the end. But, um, what I'm telling you guys how to do is how to make a Minecraft server. Because so many of you wanted to know. And how to make a Minecraft server for you guys to play on since you're on a cracked client. Um, this will be for Windows only. I guess you could really carry it over to uh, Macs or Linux. But... Anyway, um, we're going to start out by going to, as you can see, Minecraft.net, and we're going to uh, go hit the big old download button. So let's hit that download button. And now once you're here, if you actually owned Minecraft, you could download the Minecraft EXE. But what we really want is the Minecraft server.exe. See, as you can see, it says multiplayer server right there. And um, if you're on Macs or Linux, that's what you're going to want to look at. But we just want the Minecraft underscore server, so let's press save file. And then while that's downloading, we're going to want to come to our desktop. We're going to want to hit the file manager, desktop. Um, oh, wait, actually, no, just hit downloads. Now we're going to drag this to our desktop, close out of that. So now we've got it on our desktop, and we're going to want to create a new folder. Um, I just, we'll just name this server. And then you simply take your Minecraft underscore server and drag it on in and this is where it gets even easier you just double click minecraft underscore server you press run and as you can see this is your console and with your console um, it shows you how much memory you're using the processor your ticks which is your uh, how, if your server is lagging and how many you know blo uh, updates it's sending um, your chunk cache how many drops are on your map as you can see there, but uh, right now, as you can see, it's uh, preparing the spawn area. Um, but now, okay, so now it's uh, done preparing the spawn area. It says done, and now what we want to do is we just simply want to type save dash all in the chat. Now we're going to want to stop, press, put stop. So uh, now, what you're going to want to do in order for you guys to join on the website or on a correct client. You're going to want to open up the server.properties. If you have a program like Notepad++, you just open it with Notepad++. But you know what? You probably don't have Notepad++. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to double click it, and you're going to want to select select a program from a list of already installed pl plugins. And we're going to want to choose Notepad. And now uh, you can press this right here, which always uses a selected program. I'm not going to select that. And you just press OK. And now it's open in our Notepad. So as you see, we've got a couple things to look at here. We've got um, allow nether, uh, level name, um, query, but we uh, that's for if you have like Minecraft viewer, so you can see how many people are online uh, through an external website. Allow flight, I always like to enable that. Your server port, your level type, your archon, your build height your NPCs, your whitelist, blah blah blah. But what we really want to focus on is online mode. Since you guys are on a cracked client, you're not actually authenticating to um, Mojang or Minecraft's servers. You're just using uh, a local server. So what you want to do is you're going to want to set your online mode to false so that way it doesn't actually authenticate. So and then once you've done that you're just going to press file save or make any other edits you really want to make um, I'm just gonna leave that like that so now we're gonna close it and now we've got ours open so we're gonna open up our minecraft server again so as you can see it's now loaded our map and now let's take ourselves over to minecraft for free let's um, agree to the term and once we've agreed to the terms of course we're gonna have it load right on up alright and once we have it loaded uh, yours will probably just go straight to Minecraft, but I gotta update mine um, because I had mods installed because I actually own the game. But once we're done doing this, uh, in the meantime, while this is downloading, real quick, don't forget to follow our Twitter so you can win gift codes soon. We're gonna be giving out some gift codes. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. We're just uh, awaiting to get our gift codes for the actual game. And also follow to get some information of what we're doing and make a suggestion for a video. Uh, also, we have Minecraft Wiki, which will be in the description, with all the information you can need for tutorials and setting up a server. So as you can see, you go through here, it tells you all kinds of stuff for Linux, for Mac, um, Debian, 
you've got less than one gig of RAM. But anyway, that's that. So let's go back to Minecraft for free. And in order to connect to your server, you're going to simply just go down. Oh, you don't actually do it now. We're going to add a server, and uh, I guess the server name we're going to put is uh, my server. Um, for the server address, let's put localhost. Well, you're always. Let me explain this. You're going to want localhost because this is on your local computer. So localhost. That's all you're going to want to put. You press done. As you see, if we scroll down to the bottom, that's where mine is. Um, we now have my server. So let's connect. So now we're on the server on the website. But we've joined as Minecraft for free. So like always, let's set our username. My username is going to be David. Da, 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 da. No, I'm just kidding. It's just going to be David. So let's set our username. It's going to refresh the page. Let's scroll back down to the dot bottom. And let's connect. So now we're logged in as David. But what you're going to want to do, because as you can see, we're in the server. We can do stuff. Um, we can't break locks in spawn, but if we move out of spawn, let's move right out of spawn. All right, so we can break things, but we don't really have, uh, you know, all of our commands. You know, if we do slash set time, it does nothing. So what you're going to want to do is what's called an OP. You're going to go back here, and we're going to type OP your name. So my name's David, obviously, because that's what I set it to. And as you can see, it says OP and David. Now it says we're OP, so we can do commands like set time zero, which sets it to day, or set time night I don't know if that works, nope that doesn't work set time 1 which is 1 o'clock set time 23 oh or you could just not want to work oh <laughs> my bad it's set time oh that was dumb so if we do slash set time uh, 23 oh come on 1 time oh it's time set <laughs> I messed up again but anyway it's set time 23 as you can see it's there uh, let's do uh, set time 1 let's see what happens. oh come on I keep on typing it wrong um, let's do 2 but that's how you change the time or you can OP other people by doing that or we can do game mode David oops game mode David and then creative and now I'm in. Oh, there's no game mode with ID creative. What do you mean? Oh wait, I know it's wrong. Uh, David one. So now our game mode has been changed to one, which is creative. So now we got our creative, and it's like, but I don't want to be in creative anymore. So we do game mode. David zero. Now we're back in survival. And all right, so that's pretty much it for making servers. But now you're wondering. Let's press stop real quick. Save dash all. Stop. Now you're wondering, how do I have my friends join the server? This is where I sadly cannot uh, show you guys what to do in this video. Um, and that's the, this is the reason why. Because you need to port forward. Some of you may already know how to port forward because you played Xbox. And so a lot of people port forward for Xbox. But um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to portforward.com. What port forwarding is, it allows the port 25565, which is for your Minecraft server. That's what it automatically uses. Um, so people can connect to your network on that port. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to portforward.com, and at below here is a big old list of routers. So if I were to do this for my router, I'd go to um, Linksys, and I'd go to E3000. And now that I'm here, we're going to want to click click here to skip this advertisement. And um, you can pick your game. Um, I wonder if they have Minecraft. I've never actually checked. Let's see. So we're going to scroll down. Or you can um, control F. Let's type Minecraft. So here we go. We've got, uh, oops. We've got Minecraft server. As you can see right here, we click it. And now what it's going to tell you is exactly what to do. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to figure out um, what the static IP is of your router. In order to do that, you just type in CMD, enter, and then you're going to type IP config. And as you can see, your default gateway is what you want. So I'm going to want to put a 2 right there. And then it will update the rest of the tutorial um, for you. Yes. Wait. One. Don't skip this step. Okay. Uh, or you can take a look. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to want to do. And uh, this has been David. If you've got any questions, PM me on YouTube or leave a comment. I uh, hope you guys like this video. And 
This is, <laughs> this is me drawing. Also, please, please follow us on Twitter. We're trying to gain up some followers. And, like I said earlier, followers are cool. Tomorrow we're going to have a redstone tutorial video, um, as requested. And maybe I'll come up with some random video a little bit later on tonight. But, once again, this has been David. Don't forget to like this video.